Hello everybody, it's that time again, time for completed pages from May. Uh, so this is everything I coloured in the month of May. So welcome back if you've been here before and if you're a subscriber thank you and if this is your first time welcome. I hope you'll enjoy the video and stay with us and subscribe. So uh, the first one I've got to show you is from Little Cutie Special which is a colour in heaven. I do like these ones and I did if I can find it, I've got a bad or bad finger. I did this one with the lovely uh, cat eye glasses. Did this when I was on holiday in Tenerife, or did most of it when I was on holiday in Tenerife, not all of it. Um, didn't colour as much as I wanted to while I was out there, sadly, but there's that one. Uh, this was done actually, thinking about just using the Brute Funa pastels, the macarons, and the Brute Funa metallics. There's none, none of the others, no other pencils, that's all I took with me. And I think it came out quite well. This is, the next one is in Fairy Touch of Magic, and this is a whip I've had since Christmas. So I wanted to get it finished. As you know, I'm trying to get rid of every single whip I've got. Um, it's slow going, but I am getting there. I am getting through them. I am working on them all the time. Well, not all the time, but generally. And I did this one. And this is done with a mixture of Black Widows and Polychromos. Basically, just depending on what I had available at the time. So, yeah, I got bored with it after a while, and that's why I stopped. And then this week I looked at it and I thought, right, there's not really that much to do. I'm going to finish it, and I'm very pleased that I did. I did a buddy colour with Molly Newland. She has a channel too. Um, and we did this side of this double page spread. I think we did that one last year. We did this side this year. And I used um, the Ohuhu watermarkers. And I think they look really good in here. And some Link Shine glitter pens. But those Ohuhu watermarkers, water brush, brush markers, whatever they are, they would look really good. They work lovely on this paper. So I'm going to be using them in these Lulu Mail books a lot more. So that was our buddy colour for the month of May. It's, we're in June now. As you see, I didn't do many. And then I've got one that I did in 50 Diamond Mandalas, colour by number by Sachin Sach Diva. This was me using up my random pens. As you know, I just use whatever pens I've got to hand, all alcohol markers. Some of them are running out. Some of them aren't. I just use them and hope for the best. <laughs> I like that one. Then I did one in the 100 best adult colour by number pages by Sun Life Drawing. Again, I did this one. Most of that was done while I was on holiday. I like some of these, they're all right. I, I like the fact there's 100 and there's all sorts of different ones in here. I'm looking forward to doing another one this month. They're very quick and easy to do as well. And, they, and it only shows you Oh, there's a lot of colours in that one. What colours you need. So I like that. And again, that was the Oh Hoo Hoo brush markers. We're on to the 10 books to finish in 2023. As you know, we're now down to nine books because I finished uh, the Sachin St. Steve uh, Egyptian stained glass designs. Um, I did one, so I didn't do as much this month, so I, I've not done much at all. One in this uh, 50 Easy Mandalas, and this one, again, this is just various alcohol markers. And I like that. I do like these patterns, even if I don't finish them, which I probably won't. I'm still glad that I've, I've had a good go at them. From Chelsea's Pretty Creations, I did this one. I like this book. This is so sweet. I enjoyed doing that. And again, this was various markers. So the neon is the Windsor and Newton. I think yellow is just a. I think it was um, the United Office ones. So you know, nothing major. Just some random markers that I've got hanging around. I'm looking forward to finishing this book. There are, like I said, there are some duplicates in here, like that one. I've done that one but there's also a, another one of it but I've, what I said is Jennifer can do that and I'll either let her do it in the book or I'll take it apart I think how this one I'll leave the book together 
but I won't leave it where she can wreck it like she does sometimes. I'm putting those to one side. Then we've got uh, 50 Easy Patterns by Jade Summer. I try and do at least one of these every month because they're so easy to do because they're so big. And again, it was just one done with the Link Shine Glitter Gel Pens. I love the way they look. I love, I love the glitter pens. They probably, I mean, I haven't just used the glitter pens. I've used all sorts of different pens in here. So I like that one. Kawaii Colour by Numbers by Colour Questopia. Now, while I adore this book and I love the pictures, I get fed up with doing the outline, the silver outline, or a different kind. I've used gold in one of them, but I just get, oh, I get bored with it. This was done using the Ohuhu brush markers, actually. Yeah, usually I use the Amazon ones, but I've used the Ohuhu ones on, on this one for some reason. Perhaps it was just that they were there. But it's gone through a bit, but not much, so. I do like it. It is a nice book, but like I say, I get a bit bored doing the outlines. Uh, Easy Flower Mandalas by Stefania Miro. These are all done in different, again, different types of markers. I just got to get where we are, because I've done quite a lot in this one. And this one was done using um, their metallics. What metallics were they? don't remember oh they were the ones I had for Christmas I can't remember what they're called yeah the ones I had for Christmas that's right see I'm a bit of an idiot I don't remember anything I did two in which fancy I did one of the actual main book and one of the bonus pages so there's two in this one so let's get it here we go oh, that's the bonus page seeing as it keeps wanting to go there which is from the book Horror and Nightmare Creatures Black Background. To me, that's not creepy. It's just a doll. It's not creepy at all. But that's just me. I'm a bit weird. I don't find that creepy. And from the actual main book, I'm near the end, as you can tell. There's not many left. I think there's about six or seven left. And if I do one a month and then one of the bonuses, it won't, it won't be long. I did this one. I actually like the, the blue wings on this one. I think they look really nice. Yeah. And that was done using a mixture of pens, mostly the office, United Office. I think I used some Artezas. I think I used some Everblends. And I think I used, no, I did use, what are they called? Some Sharpie. Yeah. So, like I said, I just use anything and everything now just to use them up. Because I've got two sets of Artezas. So I'm just. Uh, Rose Window by Creative Haven, uh, Joel S. Averin. Again, this is a book. Everybody loves this book. I like this book. And I did that one. Again, this one is it nearing the end. So I am loving it. A little, I love the little heart in the middle. Um, this was, I think, United Office. I'm going to say United Office. So, yeah. And then I've got... Uh, Colour by Number Mandalas by Jade Summer. Let's get it right. I'm not at my desk because there's so much stuff on my desk at the moment from work that I am. Um... Oh, there's the one I did. I did this one. Quite like that. I did make a mistake and got a blue and the green the wrong way around, but hey, it still looks cool. I like it, it looks good. And this was various markers. Again, it could be anything. I've got so many, I've got so many, and I've just mixed them. When I get down to three or four or five or six, I just bung them all into one box. Got so many of them. And I also did one from Colour by Number uh, Flowers by Jade Summer. Um, that was this one's very blue and purple, but I like it. I like that colour scheme. They don't. Their colour palettes can be quite boring sometimes, but I actually like the way that works. Now what I want to say is what I'm doing in June is I'm trying to colour in as many Jade Summer books as I can. So I've got over 100 um, and I've got I think 10 now that I haven't coloured in. I've coloured two already this month. But I've got 10 I haven't coloured in and I want to colour in every single one of those this month. So I'm doing a Jade in June. So if you want to hashtag Jade in June 2023, I know somebody else does it, but just do it on Insta. Jade in June 2023. And I'm also uh, posting all the pictures I do from Jade Summer books this month onto the Jade Summer Facebook group. 
So those are all the ones I coloured this month. My favourite is going to be Little Cuties, I think, although I am quite keen on the unicorns from uh, Lulu Mayo. It's because I like the way those pens look on there. What was your favourite one? Um, yeah, so I'm going to see how many pictures I can colour in June. And I will see you very soon with another video. Bye.